of course, started his career with Milwaukee, played extremely well for the Bucks. And then Kupo quickly drives and scores the first bucket of the game. And he still has to work on that right hand finish, Mike. And a nice cut by DiVincenzo. And here come the Pacers. And, and Pacers did play last night, Jeff. They beat Memphis, scored 134 points against the Grizzlies. Nice pass inside. And the bucket is good for Holiday. And if you look at the Pacers matchup here, Mike, they've got Brogdon guarding Giannis to deal with his off the dribble quickness. But of course, that trade got rescinded. And since then, he's been in the starting lineup. Glad to stay in Milwaukee. It's a bonus. Beautiful feed inside and the bucket for Justin Holiday. Two beautiful passes tonight to start it off on great cuts. It's so fun to play when you know you'll get rewarded as a cutter. And Brook Lopez from downtown. And Sabonis, what he's starting to do every year, DeMontis that is, just getting better and better. Brogdon finds a spot for a three and knocks it down. Offensive rebound. Spins into a double team, throws it back out. Middleton from straight on. That's good. An amazing story. And look forward to him coming back. There's no timetable as, as he said. Sabonis lines up three-pointer and knocks that one down. He's got great versatility. And because he's improved his shooting, he and Miles Turner, can, they can stay big and they can still spread the floor. DJ Augustine, one of the new members of the Bucks out there. That's Augustine. alley -oop. And Atetokounmpo able to tip it in and contact as well as a foul is called. And Atetokounmpo throws it ahead to Middleton. Middleton on the drive. Banker won't go, but the follow right there from Drew Holiday. Eight straight points now by Milwaukee. Brogdon. Holiday, Sabonis using the left hand, gets his own rebound, back up and in. And now here he is, a head coach in the NBA. Boy, he paid his dues, though. High school coach, D-League slash G-League, as Augustine knocks down the jumper. Bucks by 10, just over three minutes remaining here in the first. Sabonis along the baseline, and Sabonis now with seven points. And the Pacers come the other way. Long three-pointer from Holiday. Connaughton misses. Portis with the rebound. Portis looking to post up Doug McDermott and gets it to go. Bobby Portis, who's actually averaging over 11 points per game. Augustine threads the needle inside. DiVincenzo for three. First foul on Bobby Portis. <laughs> I don't know. We, you know, we gotta see, see see where that goes, but it'd be great to get the fans, even if it's just 25% capacity back in this venue. Miles Turner back in the game. Bobby Portis lines it up and three-pointer rattles around and drops in. Portis shooting 46% from three this season. And that's a very good action, hard to guard. Giannis has the handler, big, big pick and roll. As my a nice finish by McConnell, but that big, big pick and roll, the bigs aren't used to switching. And a Ted Kumpo on the long strides and the long arms makes it look easy. That's the big key for that tandem working or not working. McDermott takes it home. Dougie Fresh. What happens normally to start the next season is there is a drop off in edge. And you have to have, sometimes as a head coach, you have to wait on your team as the disappointment of losing the last two years where they thought, they, as Giannis with another left to right spin, beautiful. Right. But tonight, they're playing very good defensively. Another well, sloppy turnover from Indiana. Bryn Forbes gets inside, flips it up. Nice little scoop shot from Forbes. They obviously have a chance to win it all with the right roster additions and commitment to defense and rebounding as Miles Turner hits a nice pick and pop three. 
Turner shooting 34% from three point range. Of course, his shot blocking has been, just been sensational. Bryn Forbes turns, shoots, and scores. Goes inside, high off the glass. Lopez got a piece of it. And then a Kupo again, the long stride and the finish. Count it and one. Giannis obviously continuing to attack the basket. One of my one of my favorite stories is McDermott again high off the glass. In the high 70s to drop down to 63 and 59. There's some mental aspect that's creeped in. I think in some ways watching games with a thousand fans is more depressing than it being totally empty as Holiday makes another three. And I thought that should have been a backcourt violation. And, and then they've lost some tough games as Sabonis gets a dozen for very long. You know, especially the way they came on last year in the bubble. Then Forbes knocks down another three. They're now 11 for 22 from downtown. Holiday, dangerous pass picked off by McConnell. McConnell had four steals last night. Brockton knocks down the three. At a point blank layup, you gotta be first to the floor. Not in the penalty yet, McConnell, Sabonis, and Sabonis flips it up and in. Wow, good night by Herb. Yep, just thought a nice way to bring up Herb Williams, one of the all-time class acts. Sabonis with a beautiful spin move. Again, the zone forced a little turnover there. Giannis having to play in traffic. Nice passing here, leaving Sabonis open and knocks down the three. Doug McDermott. Oh, he's upset, thought he was fouled. Holiday stripped him. Drew Holiday on the drive, gets to the rim, and this time finishes. Coming up on a minute remaining, what has been a dominant performance by the Milwaukee Bucks. They've led the whole way. McDermott, another drive to the basket. McDermott back to Malcolm. The Bucks prevail. Drew Holiday. And Bryn Forbes. Forbes is fifth in the league in points per touch. Turner to Sabonis and scores. We all know that the, the lead is not safe. 15 is like the old 10. You can't play the score. You've got to play the game. And you've got to play it efficiently and effectively. And Brogdon, just like that, cuts it to 13. DiVincenzo with a nice runner. Just three points. The rebound hasn't blocked the shot yet. The NBA's leading shot blocker. Coming off a terrific game last night. But he's been bothered as Sabonis throws it in. That he was supposed to miss two to three weeks. Instead, he missed two games. DiVincenzo, another three. It's eliminated a lot of those take fouls. Now, you can still camouflage it by making a good play on the ball. But this idea of just, we want to see transition basketball as a great pass by Giannis. Let's make rules that encourage transition basketball. And that makes sense. Well, it turns into a big possession for Milwaukee as Brockton knocks down the shot. It's a bonus. Now back in against Lopez, a little jump hook with the left hand. And a couple of assists, finds Sabonis again. And Sabonis stripped by Middleton. A nice, nice feed pass. again. Middleton spins, kicks it back up top. Drew Holiday off the dribble, gets inside, goes right at Brogdon, banks it home. 24 points, eight rebounds for Sabonis. Middleton finds the spot, kicks it out. Lopez, an open three. That's good. Lopez from downtown. High quality three point shots. Lead back up to 22. Atetokounmpo, the crossover, and the finish. And this is the largest lead of the game. Or your guy, particularly Sabonis, has no chance. Augustine, DiVincenzo, three-pointer, rattles it home. 15 threes now. A very good defensive performance. Indiana's a terrific offensive team. They're shooting under 40% as Sabonis gets a little left-hand jump up to go. And another double-double for him. But his team down by 25. 
Savonis tries the three. That's good. They're going to stay in the zone. I mean, why not? Nothing else is working. Yes, Hammers. Middleton banks it home. Aaron Holiday throws it up, nearly throws it away, nearly stolen by his brother. Brogdon back up top. McConnell, and this time Holiday with the steal. Drew Holiday has just been a menace on the defensive end. Another excellent play. He is so good on the ball defensively. Sabonis banks it home. A 31 point game for Sabonis. What was the second question, Mike? The second question was on who goes over to the scores table as Portis lays it up and in when they look at a replay it is the crew chief and it's whoever who whoever calls that play will go over. Oh, I, yeah, thought the crew chief just, I thought the crew chief just played favorites with who he likes best. <laughs> Seven boards for Drew Holiday. They've dominated plus 13 in the rebounding department as Bobby Portis. Him playing for the Knicks. Can he hold up defensively in the playoffs? And it's a team that they expect the three point expect them to hold up. Meanwhile, another three pointer, but they are just being carved up by this Milwaukee offense. But another again. Off the Bucks, as we said, had 21 threes on Monday. McDermott gets inside and scores. Highlight the history of African Americans locally, plus minority owned small businesses and entrepreneurs, healthcare disparities, and law enforcement and community relationships. For more black history, always storytelling, please visit theundefeated.com. Mike? Ariel, thank you so much. Uh, of course, what else but uh, another three pointer to get things started. And, and I think it continues to grow. These guys do more and more. They're given more and they give more now. Uh, have a wonderful foundation and, and Drew last year, prior to going to the bubble, as Tory Craig throws that one up and throws it in. And said he was gonna donate the rest of his salary to small black owned businesses and nonprofits and initiatives. It came to about $5 million. Just an incredible generous offer from Drew Holler. So if you're coaching, if you're coaching the Pacers right now, Nice move inside from Bataze. But to try to give him a short term goal like let's cut it to 30 by you know the six minute mark. That's a probably a little bit sophomoric. They like the way they bounced back last night but tonight just right from the start Milwaukee dominated. Aaron Holiday flips that up and in. You can play all out. And I love that about McConnell. You never have to question. On the drive, Brim Forbes shot blocked. Justin Holiday with a rebound. Aaron Holiday brings it the other way. Goes coast to coast, tries to back her and does. Nice move from the younger Holiday. East, 8 Eastern, tip off shortly after 8.30. Who does he Forbes. think he is? <laughs> like Phil Jackson? <laughs> Yeah, this moonlighting as a uh, as lethal <laughs> And that's critical. Whereas the Pacers have had a number of injuries and two guys still out. Harris Levert, T.J. Warren. As T.J. Wilson throws it up and in. T.J. Wilson to me has always been intriguing. He's never really been able to carve out an every night rotation, but he does some things very well. By the way, those games against Cleveland, the Bucks against the Cavs, the bank shot from Adams won't go. Uh, both games in Cleveland, back to back against the same team, part of the schedule this year. Nice flip shot from Bryn Forbes. We looked up in terms of the back to back. The home team has won the back to back 13 times, winning both both games. The road team has won both eight times. Yeah, n n I don't. I maybe they do. Or maybe they're just saying it. I, it's it's right for this year. Nice defensive play inside. A 40-point lead has been cut in half. It's now down to 20, but there's only 2:45 remaining. And there's yet another three. Has changed the the direction and course of that franchise. It started with Monty Williams and James Jones. 
The bubble, I think, had a big impact. Off the bench for Bryn Forbes. He hit four three-pointers. Wilson misses that one. Torrey Craig, the rebound, goes back up and throws it down. Samson. Ball tipped and actually, actually goes down for the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, with this win, they'll improve now to 13 and 8 overall, 9 and 2 on their home floor. Wonder if he had his camera to get a picture of that. <laughs> on the drive, bank shot is good.